Hi, I'm Gidon from TheTechnologyMan.com. The iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10 all support fast charging, both via a cable and wirelessly, which theoretically makes it possible to bring your empty phone up to 50% charge in as little as 30 minutes. This sounds great, but working out how to achieve the fastest charging is not as straightforward as you'd think. In the box with all these phones, you still get the slow 5 volt 1 amp charger that Apple has been supplying forever. There's no wireless charger and not even a moderately fast fast charger. So what are your options for charging your new phone as quickly as possible, both wired and wirelessly? The recommended way to fast charge the latest iPhones is to use Apple's own expensive 29 watt USB-C charger. If you own a 12 inch Apple MacBook, you already have one. The latest MacBook Pros also come with a USB-C charger, which will also work, but it won't be any quicker. The 13-inch MacBook Pro comes with a 61-watt charger and the 15-inch MacBook Pro is supplied with an 87-watt charger. Additionally, you'll need an Apple Lightning to USB-C cable, which is also pricey. There are cheaper options for the charger, which I'll come to, but you're stuck with a genuine Apple cable for the time being at least. At least if you want an approved cable. With the Apple charger and cable at a total cost of £80, I charged my iPhone 10 from flat to 47% charge in 30 minutes, over two and a half times faster than with the supplied charger. Fortunately, there is a cheaper option for the charger. Since Apple is using the USB power delivery standard to achieve the fast charging, any USB PD charger with at least 29 watts output should perform similarly. From the outset, USB charging was limited to five volts at 0.5 amps from a standard USB port on a computer. If you recall the basic equation power equals current times voltage, this equates to a maximum power of 2.5 watts. The USB power delivery standard allows voltages higher than 5 volts, up to 20 volts, and up to 5 amps of current to be negotiated between the compatible charger and device, allowing for outputs up to 100 watts. Usually the power is carried over a cable with USB type C on both ends, although in Apple's case there's a lightning connector on one end. It's good to see Apple using a standard like this and it means you're not stuck having to use a proprietary Apple charger to get the fastest charging. So a cheaper alternative to the Apple 29 watt charger is Anker's 60 watt 5 port charger which has a single Type-C port supporting the USB power delivery standard up to 30 watts as well as four standard 2.4 amp charging USB ports capable of up to 12 watts each depending on the number of devices connected and their requirements. At roughly half the price of the Apple charger and far more flexible with the additional ports, I again charged my flat iPhone 10 to 47% capacity in 30 minutes, identical to the Apple charger. Unfortunately, you'll still need the Apple charging cable until Anker or someone else produce an approved alternative. The USB power delivery port can also be used to charge other supported devices. So in my household, the GoPro Hero 5 and the Nintendo Switch support fast charging over this port too. And there are many other devices supporting this standard, including the latest Google phones. So a charger like this may be a useful investment. Wireless or inductive charging for smartphones has been around for a few years and a lot longer for electric toothbrushes. But Apple have only just started incorporating the technology into its latest iPhones. The iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10 all support the Qi, spelled QI, wireless charging standard. There are other wireless charging standards, including PMA, but Qi is the most popular and even more so now Apple supports it. There are a few advantages to wireless charging, but probably the most important one is convenience. You just place the phone down on the charging pad. There's no fumbling around with the cable, often when it's dark. There's also the advantage as more devices support wireless charging of reducing the rapidly expanding mess of cables. And if you're someone who's rough with cables and the port of your phone for that matter, you may save money investing in a wireless charger. There's no cable or indeed port to break and you'll be less likely to lose it too since you're generally bringing the phone to the charging pad. No wireless charger is included with the latest iPhones, but fortunately Qi wireless chargers are relatively cheap and ubiquitous. Amazon lists thousands of options and IKEA sell furniture with Qi wireless charging built in and an integrated charger that you can drop into a drilled hole anywhere. The latest iPhone should work with any of these chargers at the typical 5 watt charging power, but Apple did slightly confuse matters, offering compatibility with faster 7.5 watt charging pads after an iOS update. Apple stores offer two charging pads that are compatible with the faster charging speeds from Mophie and Belkin. And the upcoming air power charging pad from Apple will also support the faster charging speeds. However, even the Mophie and Belkin options are more than five times the cheapest Qi chargers Amazon and Ikea offer. So I've tested three chargers from reliable Amazon brands Rav Power and Anker. All the chargers are supposed to support fast charging up to 10 watts, so theoretically should fast charge the latest iPhones. It's worth noting that if you're just going to use the wireless charger on your bedside table, charging speeds are not really an issue since the charging will be complete before you wake up whatever you use. And the jump from 5 watts to 7.5 watts is not hugely significant, especially if you really want to charge your phone quickly. 
you'd be much better off using a cable and a 2.4 amp iPad charger or equivalent or the even faster USB PD chargers discussed earlier. As a reference for the charging speed tests I'll come to shortly, I charged my completely flat iPhone 10 using the included Apple 5W charger and the phone reached 18% of charge after 30 minutes. The Anker 10W charging pad comes nicely packaged in a small box with a 1m Anker branded, albeit quite thin, micro USB cable. The device is very slender at only 7.5mm in thickness and has a fairly grippy surface so your phone shouldn't easily slide off. The build quality is decent for the price and it's the most understated of the three chargers easily blending into its surroundings. No wall charger is supplied and Anker recommend plugging into a Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 or 3.0 adapter for the fastest charging. Quick Charge, like USB power delivery described earlier, is another fast charging standard but does not require a USB Type-C connector. The phone can be placed in any orientation on the pad so long as the middle of the phone is over the pad, which does require careful placement. The blue LEDs on the pad pulse for 10 seconds and then turn off when you have the phone correctly placed. I again tried charging my completely flat iPhone 10 for 30 minutes using both a standard 2.4 amp charger and an Orkey Qualcomm Quick Charger and got identical results of only 13% charge after 30 minutes. So although the charger supports up to 10 watts and the iPhone has the latest update to support 7.5 watt fast charging, it won't fast charge an iPhone. The RAV Power 10 watt charging stand comes with a 50 cm RAV Power branded flat micro USB cable. The build quality is again fine for the price but I'm not keen on the fast charge branding on the front of the stand in large capital letters and embossed into a small metal plaque on the top. As with the Anker, no charger is supplied and RAV Power also recommend using with a Qualcomm Quick Charge adapter. There are two advantages to this charger over the other two. Firstly, you don't need to take much care positioning the phone on the stand for charging to work in portrait mode at least. In landscape mode I found that I had to take a little more care but not enough for concern. Secondly, it's a very convenient stand for your desk, kitchen or bedside table and if you have an iPhone 10, face recognition works just fine without having to awkwardly position your face over the phone. A white LED ring on the base of the charger pulses when charging but it's barely noticeable. With the phone in portrait mode covering up the branding, the charger looks quite smart and the matte finish and bottom lip hold the phone fairly securely. Again, charging my flat iPhone 10 for 30 minutes using both a 2.4 amp charger and the Qualcomm Quick Charger gave the same result of 16% charge after 30 minutes. So a little quicker than the Anker, but again slower than the 5 watt stock charger and no fast wireless charging here. The RAV Power 7.5 watt fast charger is the only charger that explicitly mentions in its Amazon description that it will fast charge the latest iPhones and comes with a RAV Power branded 1.2 meter braided micro USB cable and a 24 watt quick charge 3.0 adapter. Build quality is very good with a decent weight and a more premium feel than the other two chargers. It is more expensive but the included quick charge 3.0 wall charger mostly justifies the extra cost even before considering the build quality and design. It's over twice as thick as the Anker pad and has a grippy rubberized ring that holds your phone securely. Like the Anker you can place the phone in any orientation but you still need to place it carefully centered on the pad. A green flashing LED should indicate fast charging of a compatible device but with my iPhone 10, the LED flashes orange which indicates only normal speed charging. The LED continues to flash and it's more noticeable than the RAV Power's faint white pulsing so not ideal for your bedside table. I repeated the same test charging my flat iPhone 10 for 30 minutes using the supplied fast charger. This time the phone charged to 23% capacity, almost 50% more than the RAV Power stand and over 25% faster than the stock 5W charger. So it does appear to be fast charging even though the iPhone doesn't send a fast charge signal to the charging pad. Wired fast charging can be very useful when you're about to head out and realise your phone is low on battery. The Anker 60 watt 5 port charger is a handy accessory with its four 2.4 amp charging ports and additional USB power delivery 30 watt fast charging port. The Apple Lightning to USB-C cable is pricey but it's the only option I'd trust currently and together with this fast charger you can take your flat iPhone up to 25% charge before heading out even if you only have 15 minutes spare. For wireless charging the speed difference between the various chargers isn't hugely significant so your choice will mainly come down to price, design and aesthetic. My personal choice is the RAV Power wireless charging stand despite its slightly overzealous branding. It doesn't take up much space and it holds your phone conveniently for tapping through emails or such like and it will even work with Face ID without any neck contortions. And if I need to charge my phone faster, I'll properly fast charge it with a cable. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do like and subscribe. You can also see the written article at thetechnologyman.com. Thanks for watching.